Hey, what's up guys? It's your man C4 Sages back again with another video. And boy, do we have a special treat for you. For those who clearly uh, don't know, I am a huge Devil May Cry fan. Um, I'm also a huge 1-6 scale uh, figure collector. Uh, I'm not I'm not as super committed as some people out there who who collect figures. Um, I, I more or less have my own choices. But with all that being said, here he is, guys. Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening, Virgil Luxury Edition by Asmus Toys. Let's get right into it. All right, everyone. So this is basically Virgil outside the box when you kind of assemble everything um this is the luxury version or luxury edition so it does come with this pretty freaking awesome stand i must say it is very nice it is a little bit fragile on the sides especially where the lamp post is and the actual railing uh they are a little bit sensitive um but overall the stand itself has pretty good weight to it and uh, I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. So right now we're gonna check out his stand. As you can see, it does come with a few pieces. Um, the tip of the light up there is actually, I actually attached it to the base right here because it's, it's really finicky. I must say these two pieces right here are very delicate. So if you are interested in picking up the, the luxury edition of uh, uh, the Virgil, luxury edition version, um, these two pieces are very fragile. Um, there is a magnet where you stick this into the side. Um, it is not <laughs> super strong, so it's going to look like it's leaning a little bit. But aesthetically speaking, it works just fine in my opinion. Um, this does turn on, and I will show that um, in a little while. Um, but basically, you attach this to the side, and then the arm, or I should say the railing, goes in here. And then there's like a little right there where you can put that where you could stand virgil and uh overall um i like it i think it's pretty cool um it has a good weight to it um and i mean when we're talking about some of the details i mean i really love the weathering it kind of tells you the story of you know how demonic the world of devil may cry is so i mean over overall i really do like it and so far i'm really enjoying it all right, let's take a look at some of his accessories. So Virgil doesn't really come with too many accessories, which, you know, really in the main game, he really didn't have much to work with. Um, but he does come with four extra hands. He does come with two pegs. I must say that this particular figure compared to like Dante or most Hot Toys figures, his hands are very sensitive. So I think that's probably why they included this. I feel like all figures should include this anyway, but good on Asmus for at least including it um he does come with force edge and I must say I, I know a lot of people had their gripes with this sword because this was in die cast uh similar to Yamato but it is very nice it's very bright very sharp great designs it's a great looking sword and of course we cannot use this video and not talk about this freaking thing i mean it's absolutely gorgeous i really love that they decided to use die cast for this particular sword this is virgil's sword everyone knows that it's yamato it looks freaking awesome um this is uh the helm of the sword and as you can see it goes in pretty well Great design here, little gold accents on the sides, gold accent here, uh, nice little yellow string ribbon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it holds really well too. It's all relatively simple. I love with all the accessories that he came with. Uh, it's pretty much Virgil here. All right, everyone. So here is Virgil. He does come with this stand as well. Um, for some reason, if maybe the big stand that I showed earlier was a bit too much or maybe you don't have enough room at the time um you can put them here uh overall he unbiasedly speaking because virgil is like my favorite video game character of all time 
Um, I think he's pretty solid. Um, everything looks really good on him. And uh, we're going to do a close-up shot uh, so you can take a look at some of the more details that come with him. All right, let's talk about some articulation. As far as his head goes, guys, uh, he can pretty move uh, all the way left, all the way right. His head can go about that far. It can go down. You can do some really cool poses. So his head is pretty good. Um, he does have an ab joint as well. Uh, that's So he can pretty much look like he's vomiting a little bit if some of you have some crazy poses out there. As far as his arms go, that's pretty much, he can do 90 degrees right there, but that's pretty much it. I haven't tested to see if his arms can move all the way up. Um, and I'm a little disappointed with Asmus because I figured that they were gonna change his body to something a bit more, something more updated, like some of their newer bodies. Um, so basically he's a super sensitive figure. Just please, if this is something that you cherish, care about like I do, just please be careful when you're posing with the arms as far as his legs um he can pretty move he can pretty much move them straight just like that um he can also move them side to side uh but i would be very careful because i've been hearing that some people have ripped this part of virgil's pants so just please be careful with that as far as his boots um and his feet articulation there's not really much to it. You can kind of move it side to side, not really. His boots do come off um, because this version of Virgil actually comes with Beowulf. So I will be showing you that and what he looks like with that momentarily. But yeah, articulation wise, I might give him like maybe a six out of 10. Um, but damn, he looks good. Cool. So here is Virgil uh, wearing his Beowulf uh, double arms. I must say I'm very impressed how it looks. I love the detail. Uh, the paint job is not not bad. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. Um, regardless of paint jobs, I, I still think it looks really, really good. Um, as far as putting it on, um, it was a little bit challenging when it came to his feet in terms of actually taking off his boots because the pegs did not want to come off. So thankfully it's gonna be a little bit hard <laughs> to take off his pegs um that's the only thing that i'm a little bit disappointed about because it looks like his feet when he's wearing beowulf um do articulate um but in this case uh this is really this is honestly it um his arms are are pretty hard to articulate in the first place because uh the ball joints on his shoulders um like those sockets inside of where his armpits are um they do come off pretty easily um so him doing like a shore you kid or anything like that like when he's charging up uh to do like an uppercut uh unfortunately it might be hard to do that this is pretty much what i'm comfortable with he's kind of just like taunting dante a little bit uh but yeah the ice this is what he looks like when he's wearing beowulf all right everyone so overall i would have to say that Virgil is a pretty solid figure. I'm very pleased with the product that Asmus made. Um, unbiasedly speaking, I'd probably give him like an 8 out of 10. Uh, biasedly though, uh, he's closer to a 10 out of 10 for me personally. I mean, I have Dante and I have some other pretty dope figures, but he really stands out. That stand that he came with is so cool um yamato being die cast is really awesome uh i know right now asthma still has a few on their website i'm not sure if anywhere else is selling them um probably on any other six scale uh website i'm sure they're selling it um i'll probably put that in the link in the description for sure um but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video um i'm gonna go ahead and pose this guy and take some pictures of him on my instagram uh for sure uh but yeah if you enjoyed the content please uh remember to subscribe to the channel um yeah guys i will see you in the next video peace